Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create test cycles in Jira. In previous sessions, we have understood how to install Zephyr test management plugin and then how to add test cases or edit test cases or clone test cases. So once you have created the test cases uh, and the test cases are approved by the uh, business analyst or the relevant stakeholders for the particular release then you need to create the test cycle and do the execution you you need to create test cycle for a particular release or version of uh, of the build and then add those test cases in that version do the execution and mark the test cases as pass or fail depending how the build is behaving so to start creating the test cycle this will be mostly taken care by the test lead or the test manager of the project and to create the test cycle you just need to go to the top header and click on the tests tab and click on plan test cycle All right now under plan test cycle you will see that there are the re releases available right so releases are basically provided or created by the project administrator or Jira project administrator or Jira administrator. So these releases has to be there in, in Jira in order to for you to plan the test cycle. Right? So for example, version 2.0 uh, release has already been created by the project administrator and it's available. So version 2.0, 3.0, 4.0 all these releases are unreleased and are available so we can plan our test cycles for these particular versions which are unreleased so to create a test cycle you just need to click on this create cycle the plus icon here and it will open the cycle so you need to select the version under which you want to create a new cycle and just create just provide the name of the of the cycle you're creating so I'll say SIT cycle 1 okay and then if you want to provide the detail or any description for the cycle environment details for example I'll say Windows plus I for all the UI related uh, test cases and then select the date from and to date for which you want to do the execution so that's optional it's up to you whether you want to provide the date or not and click on save okay so you can see sit cycle 1 has been created so if you go to the version 2.0 you can see online 2.1 and sit cycle 1 below that has been created right now what all options are available for uh, the cycle that you create so if you click on that particular cycle, you can add the test cases to the cycle. You can add folder uh, below that. You can uh, edit the cycle, delete cycle. You can clone the cycle as well and export the cycle. So adding the test cases basically add the sit test cases below this particular cycle. So for example, SIT will have a combination of you know like the UI test cases middleware test cases so you can create different folders for those test cases um, and then add those test cases within that cycle so I can say I'll add UI folder below sit cycle one and then add another folder for middleware and then add test cases to these folders so if you just click on add test and then just start selecting the test cases from this drop down that you want to add in this particular folder under that cycle so I'll select 25 26 whichever are applicable for the UI just select those test cases pretty easy and then assign um, assignment is pretty easy as well you that you can either assign to yourself or to the person in the team so as a test lead you will be planning the test cases and then assigning it to the particular member of your team so just select so for example these test cases need to be executed by Mary just select the person who want whom you want to assign these test cases for execution and click on add all right 
and you can see four test cases have been added under the UI folder of SIT cycle one and the status showing as unexecuted and the assignee is Mary. So now Mary will get notification that these four test cases have been assigned to her and she'll take care of the um, execution of these particular test cases under uh, SIT cycle one. So this is, this is all about creating the test cycle in JIRA, uh, editing the cycle, deleting the cycle, and then adding folder below the cycle and adding test cases and assigning the test cases to a particular tester within the project. In the next tutorial, we will learn how you can execute test cases in JIRA. Thank you.